everybody. Jan of Jan Hicks Creates here. And here we are on Sti Stitch Mania 2020, day one. You guys ready? Does it feel like a normal Stitch Mania? It sure doesn't, does it? I don't know whether we're going to get more or less done. <laughs> But we're doing this. How are you guys doing this morning? Are you all ready? I am. I've been excited to start on this. Well, not start on it, right? Get it finished this month. That is the goal. Shades of Gold by Northern Expressions Needlework with the gorgeous Darling Floss for Mrs. Sadus. Did you see that she is opening again? She is opening again today. So, if you have been waiting impatiently to get some of her silk, get in line. <laughs> Mrs. Sadus, M I S S U S S E D A S dot com, is her website. I told her she needed to be dying, busy dying while that, that sounded bad. <laughs> dying silk, coloring all the silk while she was in shutdown in Spain. They are slowly starting, starting to open up there, which means things are getting slightly better there. So that is always good to hear. But anyways, I don't know how much she has gotten done because when I said I was going to announce this every place that she was opening up again, she did a face palm. <laughs> so <laughs> Anyway, I am using her floss, Colorway Darling, on a 36 count gold unknown fabric that I've had in my stash for years and years. There are many miles on this fabric. It has traveled with me all over different places. And it has finally found the perfect piece to be used in. So her floss has the kind of more royal blue areas and this colorway, Darling, um, and more turquoisey areas. So I am doing a bit of color controlling on this. My goal, and, and I'm currently using the border for this area is in the royal blue and this medallion here is in the more turquoise sections. So my goal, I had said I was gonna try and place goals for every day. This medallion, let me kind of open up this fabric a bit and show you. So it is this. I'm not sure. I'm going to say my goal for today is to get half of this done. I may very well get most of it, depending on how much I sit here and stitch um, for the day, but I just don't know on any given day. So one of the things that's going to be occupying my time for the next week, and I will say right now, um, I will admit I am recording this on Thursday afternoon. April 30th because if you guys have been in my Facebook group today you know that I have decided for my floss tube one number 100 well my original intent let's start there was to um, do interviews with a bunch of you on zoom and make that my floss tube 100 special because as I've said you know, those of us that do floss tube channels, we wouldn't be here. It would be kind of meaningless if we didn't have you guys out there watching and supporting and cheering us on and keeping us company. You know, otherwise we'd just be talking to ourselves. And while, you know, that might happen anyway, <laughs> it's good to know that people are listening. So anyways, I decided to celebrate this. I wanted to, to celebrate you all of the friends I've made here while I've been doing this. 
So my original thought was I would get 10 or 12 of you and just, you know, chat with you for 10 or 15 minutes on, you know, what you're working on, what you, what you like to stitch, you know, give you guys a chance to shine. Well, I've done two interviews so far and both of them have been a half hour to 45 minutes. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's not possible to only spend 10 or 15 minutes talking about this, apparently. <laughs> At least not with me. <laughs> so what I think is going to end up happening is that the whole week, and I do have, I think I have probably about 10 people scheduled so far. Um, I'm still waiting to hear back from a couple others, but... I think what's going to happen is it's going to be a whole week of videos celebrating you. Not just one Floss Tube 100, but multiple Floss Tube 100s <laughs> celebrating you guys. But what this means is I'm doing a lot of interviewing, chatting every day. And so I decided, and because of the time difference, because a lot of you are, oh, for heaven's sakes, a lot of you are out on the East Coast or in cent the t Central Time Zone, the time difference means that it's, we're looking at you know, like first thing in the morning for me. And so to do these daily videos as well, every morning, there's just not enough hours in my day and not enough energy in my body, quite frankly. Um, so I'm going to be, for the first week here while I'm doing the interviews, I'm going to be recording my Stitch Mania videos the evening before and then scheduling it to go live the following morning. So I hope that made sense. Um, so yeah, this, it's actually Thursday afternoon here, but you will be seeing this Friday at some point, whenever you decide to watch it. So that is the story on that. So anyways, um, I'm my goal is definitely to get half of this medallion done. If I get all of it done, you know, we'll celebrate. But for now, I'm going to keep it, um, keep it maybe a little bit smaller until we really get into the flow of this. So that, um, and I'm hoping that these, actually these daily videos are not going to be that long anyway. So, we shall see. Um... All right, as I've mentioned, on top of doing my Stitch Mania piece, I also will be continuing with the Stitch Alongs that I have agreed to with the Fat Quarter Shop. And so, Bloomtopia Release 7 comes out today. I actually do not have it sitting here next to me to show you, to show that to you. But what I did want to show you is just a little peek at this adorable little bird. So this is the feels like home stitch along. Now this is the mystery stitch along. The first part does release today, probably by now. Um, it has released. Look at him, isn't he? He adorable. So I am working slightly ahead so that I can show you the work. The colors. I showed you Key Largo the other day, right? Now, do you see a theme here <laughs> with my colors? Th these are the called for colors for um, Feels Like Home, though, and I couldn't resist this one because the colors are just right up my alley. Look at this. Really tealy. Caribbean waters. Key Largo. I mean, really. How could I not, right? So anyways, I am having a ton of fun with that one. If you haven't jumped on that yet, I encourage you to. I will put the links for that below in the in the description box. But there's my little bird. I am doing this on a 36 count Edinburgh, just a plain white linen. The It calls for a 25 count Lugana white. I did not want to do 25 count. That's too big for my taste. I did not want to do 25 count over one. So I had this piece of white linen in my stash. And so that's what I, what I decided to go with. Oh, he's so adorable. 
The other thing I've been working on, oh, and here's the rest of the colors for Feels Like Home. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. Now, I did work on, like I mentioned, um, Beachcomber by Carolyn Manning Designs quite a bit these past few days. I did not pull time for seasons back out. I was too mad at it. <laughs> but <laughs> and Mike's just like, oh, brother, these, these stitchers, what are you going to do with them? I had a lot of fun with Beachcomber, though, and I love, I love how it's looking so far. So that's where I got with that. This will get put away until um, after May. We will see if it comes back out again in June or not. I don't know. That's too far away. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's where we are for today. Welcome to Stitch Mania 2020. I hope you guys have as a ton of fun with however you've decided to do it. And I will be back tomorrow, and we will see just how much of this medallion I have gotten done. Until then, have a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.